Welcome to the Report from Tucker Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. It's a freezing winter here in uh, Melbourne, Victoria, and we have a new government, a new Labor government. It's a complete disaster. COVID-19, uh, 1984, all that bullshit seems to be over mostly, so uh, that's off, off it goes. So we're going to talk about that tonight on the Report from Tucker Mountain. Alright ladies and gentlemen, yes, we've had uh, some wondrous activity and we've got some new reports here. I thought we'd do some, it's been a while since uh, Tim came out and filmed some out here at my house. So, uh, yes, uh, we've had a, a federal election and um, what a fucking disaster that was, ladies and gentlemen, pardon my French. Um, you know, it wasn't good for the right and people on the new right, uh, like myself, um, with a kind of uh, labour um, slaughter at the... Um, at the polls and um, you know a lot of the Freedom Party's um, failing to perform and these kind of teal um, uh, you know globalist backed um, you know teal candidates kicking out a lot of top liberals so really uh, decimating the liberal vote so it's been a complete disaster now um, I've obviously got my friend David Thrussell who does um, you know his show he's all at a bubblegum show over at uh, Cafe Lockdown um, he, he thinks it's all rigged of course the whole thing was rigged because he thinks the um, the freedom vote was something like 30 35 percent of the population and uh, well uh, I'd probably agree more with someone like Joel Jamal who uh, who's quite erudite uh, on and analyzing all the stuff that really the freedom vote was about 15 percent it didn't really do too badly but one of the problems with the freedom vote is that it was you know I guess spread um, you know between various different people obviously one nation um, United Australia Party Liberal Democrats and also various independents um, you know I had a lot of faith in Damien Richardson uh, and obviously there was Morgan C Jonas he was running um, you know none of these people really did well um, it looks like Pauline Hanson's going to get up in Queensland as a senator um, thank God for that and uh, it looks like in Victoria it is a bit of a rebel move might send a UIP senator to um, to the house we'll have to they're still counting the votes, which uh, I might agree that there might be some rigging at this stage, I don't know, to stop some freedom candidates. But it does seem like the Australian public really did vote for the Labor Party, ladies and gentlemen. And really, um, you know, I mean, look, I mean, what? how can we explain that? I mean, I mean, I was no fan of Scott Morrison during the whole um, COVID crisis. I thought he sat on his hands, he showed little kind of national leadership, and he really di didn't show much leadership also in um, in some of the other national crises we've faced the last three years, which was the, it's the one thing that started off the uh, COVID nonsense, which was the bushfires. Not that it was connected, I hope it wasn't connected, but, uh, you know, there was the bushfires, he didn't seem to do a lot. He was uh, on holiday in Hawaii, that didn't look good. And then there was the flooding, you know, he, he was making stupid comments and turning up, you know, like one month late to the flood so I think you know he wasn't a particularly um, dynamic leader the last three years and he really didn't do much to corral the um, or support people who have a kind of more what you would call traditionally liberal position or conservative position during the whole COVID crisis all our rights went out the window and Scott Morrison did nothing so I guess it's maybe not surprising that um, you know uh, Albanese might have won um, do I think there was some rigging there probably I mean I do think you know the globalists uh, definitely wanted uh, a Labour government and um, for whatever reason and uh, I do think probably China was on the side of Labour um, because they would probably find them more friendly than, um, than a Liberal government. But was there any major rigging in the sense of like what we saw with Donald Trump? I, I don't think so. I think um, that, you know, Australians, um, let's be honest, are basically dumb um, and that includes uh, a lot of just people who just obey all the rules the last few years, they're quite unintelligent whether they be from Australia or whether they be new immigrants. Um, you know, people just like to, you know, get on with their lives. They took the jabs. Some people suffered um, um, what you call a vaccine side effects, but it wasn't off the charts. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know the exact amount of vaccine injuries, but it would have to be under 100,000 people uh, in Australia. I mean, that's still pretty serious in my opinion, uh, and a good reason not to take it perhaps, but like, um, you know, people just got on with their lives and they voted for more of the same, you know, more of, you know, basically they voted for a, um, you know, basically a federal version of Daniel Andrews, which I think sounds like a disaster. And so that's what we're in for, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was a terrible result. Um, the freedom movement, outside of a couple of little wins we had, uh, Christa, uh, a Keneally woman, she got ousted, which was kind of lucky. It was one decent result. Uh, it looks like Paul Hansen's back. That was another good result. But outside of a couple of things like that, there wasn't much joy for us at this election. It was, I think, a, um, a Labour landslide. And um, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Elbow's pissed off over 
overseas and is uh, running around. He went to one of these global kind of conferences first, and now he's off in Indonesia. Um, but you know, I mean, I will say this: um, uh, Albo doesn't, you know, as a person, from what you can see of him from the campaign, doesn't seem like a complete disaster. Um, you know, he he could channel uh, someone like Bob Hawke, who was a man of the people, and uh, he has that kind of background, and uh, I don't know, I mean, uh, I hope he does. I mean, maybe there is something to Anthony Albanese that's authentic, that uh, he will um, try and fight some of the worst excesses of globalism, and they are already, um, you know, confronting China a little bit, you know, so they are doing some things very much like the Liberals were doing in relation to China, so, I mean, I don't know, I mean, you know, these parties, um, Labor and Libra, they change every five to ten years, and we just had a change, and that's all that has happened in Australia, it's probably not going to make that um, that much difference to your life. And um, I'm always reminded of a quote um, from my old friend Boyd Rice, who I made a film Pearls Before Swine with in the mid 90s. I remember I was upset about an election in the 90s, and uh, he said to me, Rich, he goes, H you know, when you've has your life ever really changed when the government has changed from, say, you know, a right wing government to a left wing government? I said, well, no, it hasn't really. Like, you know, basically it's the same life. He said, well, then why the fuck are you worried? And that's the report from Tiger Mountain.